Good morning, my name is Chris Fox, and today I get to record a fun video. We are talking about WonderDraft, which is one of my favorite programs. It is a tool for making maps. So if you are an author like me or a game master, it is a tremendously useful tool. I've, I've spent my entire lifetime gaming, and I remember back in the days of Campaign Cartographer, how frustrating it could be to try and generate one of these maps. And in the end, I ended up learning how to do it by hand, which is what I've spent most of my time doing. And, and I still enjoy that. I love sitting around doodling on my iPad and still doing maps. But the beauty of WonderDraft, as you're about to see, is that you can quickly and easily create awesome maps. And I think that the real strength of WonderDraft lies in the community, because the community of WonderDraft has created endless variations of various tools and icons and themes and you know map colors and all sorts of stuff that we can use to create wonderful maps. So if you want to visualize whatever your world is, be it you know modern day, be it science fiction, be it fantasy, WonderDraft is an amazing tool to do that. Anyway, guys, let's jump in. I will show you how WonderDraft works. I guess before I do so, let's cover costs. WonderDraft is, uh, as far as I know, $30 is what I paid for it for either Mac or PC. It seems to run great on both and have great reviews on both. We'll be seeing it on, on a Mac since that's what I'm using. Anyway, <laughs> let's jump in and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so we are looking at WonderDraft, and this is a, a default map that I've got up. The first thing I would do if I was making a new map is click New, go to discard what I was currently working on, and you can change your sizes and the templates, and if you've set up a template, which I, I tend not to use, but I know are very, very useful if you're doing a lot of maps in a specific region, you can select that here, and then, of course, you've got your theme. Now, I like the color set of Terra, but I'm going to go with Warren so that'll match what my buddy Aaron is doing for Shattered Gods because I want thematically all of our maps to look the same. So once I've got a background here, presumably this is the ocean and I'd want to generate a landmass, right? Well, I can do that up here by selecting a tool and creating a little bit of land. So here's our first island, let's say, or maybe that's a subcontinent or something. I can raise or lower land on a given area. I can... I'll lower it as well, so you can see I'm basically creating islands into an archipelago. So you have a lot of freedom in, in what you do here. And, and I spend endless time doodling on maps like this when I'm making one for an area. You may not want to do so. If you're a GM especially and you've got players and they need a game for Saturday, you need a map quick. And one of the things that I most love about WonderDraft is it supports that. So what I can do is hit Generate over here. And it's going to create a map for me. And so if you're not inspired, if your imagination is just kind of fizzled and maybe you had a long work week, you can just hit, keep hitting this button until you find a map that looks good. Like this one looks good to me. I can work with this. This is obviously a coastline. You know, and I can start plugging stuff in and kind of working with what I see here. So now I've got a map that I like. You can add everything from mountains to forests. And, and I guess we'll start and we'll do exactly that. You're, you're selecting the type of symbol that you want to add. So like maybe we're gonna do a big peak and then I'm gonna change that to some smaller mountains and I could just drag my finger around and I've created like a mountain range. And then I could do the same thing for some foothills and I can sort of sprinkle those around and get some offshoots maybe. You know, and, and maybe I'm not happy with the way this particular mass of mountains looks and so I can discard this at any point and start over or I can erase it with the erase tool. But, but there's so much room to play with this and to put forests and mountains. And you can see how quickly this is done compared to trying to hand draw this stuff. So I really, really love what WonderDraft can do, especially in the symbols department, because it has a symbol for almost everything you can think about, you know, for specific structures that you might need. God, I'm trying to think of, you know, what might be even the, the best set to jump into. You want to add a sea monster, that's fine. Like almost anything you can think of, if it's not in the default setup, probably has been created by somebody and you can actually download a bunch of content like you know maybe you need alien races maybe you need ruined structures that don't exist in the default template i think there are some of those there we are where are the colored ruins uh, i think this is the one that i was using on the last map i was working on so they've got sort of a stonehenge one and then you know like a ruined structure one and you know we've got a tower we can drop in and these are just the defaults again 
So you really can see that there's a lot you can do. You can do it very quickly. So even if you, like me, have very little to no artistic talent, you can still quickly generate fantasy maps that you can share with, with friends, family, players, and if you're an author, with your readers. And I'll show you what a final looks like. So this is Shattered Gods. We're looking at the World Animal page for Shattered Gods, and this is the map that my buddy Aaron Jordan created. Aaron is one of my partners in the Shattered Gods franchise and is running the role-playing game part of it. In any case, this is the, the map that he put together. And, and what makes this so amazing to me is we've been playing this game since I was 18. That was when I first conceived of Shattered Gods. Back then it was called Feylands. I've, I've changed it in many ways and, and forms. But this map is a place that we've adventured in for decades, literal literal decades, playing Dungeons and Dragons, various campaigns over the years. And now, of course, we have our own role-playing game. But you can see he's able to bring all this to life. And then the first novel is going to take place right over here in the city-state of Hazra. And I'm going to do smaller maps that will fit into this. And so the beauty of World Anvil is they'll be able to click their way through and see the maps of the sub-regions that I'm creating. And then as other areas are fleshed out, we'll add more maps. And Wonder Draft makes that easy to do in a consistent way. I love hand drawing maps and it's a lot of fun, but you can create something like this in, you know, eight to 10 hours, whereas doing this by hand could take me 100 hours. 100 hours of fun maybe, but still 100 hours that's in, in short supply. <laughs> In any case, if you have questions about Wonder Draft or in the far more likely event that you've used it and know more about it than I do, please drop a comment and, and let me know what you think of the software. I've really enjoyed using it. Buddies really enjoy using it. I know lots of gamers that love it, and it seems like a, such a natural fit for World Anvil, which you know I can't say enough good things about that either. I'll have another World Anvil video in the near future, and I'll show you some of the things I've been doing with it. It's, it's, I'm really fleshing out my, my world for both the Magitech Chronicles and Shattered Gods. And so you get to see more of that. But in any case, check out Wonder Draft into, your, into map design. If you don't use it and are aware of another tool that's competing that you like, tell us why in the comments. Uh, anyway, guys, I do need to get back to the writing. Bert is nearing completion for the first draft. And so I should get back to that. And I will see you next week.